Welcome to Fridays with Fred, in which I bring you the news from Frosty's, New Hampshire. <clears throat> this is a special uh, pre-recorded edition because once again, we are having technical difficulties. For some reason, Facebook Live seems to work sometimes and other times doesn't want to work. Kind of like me. Anyway, this is a pre-recorded edition. So you can leave your comments, I would welcome them, but it's not going to be happening live. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's see what's happening in the town. Uh, getting ready for the Thanksgiving pageant coming up uh, this next week. Folks have been practicing at the church. They, uh, you know, the pageant is the same thing every year. It's the, the Sunday school teachers and the kids and the pastor are all gathered up in the front of the church, dressed up as pilgrims and uh, Native Americans. And then they sit around uh, and have the Thanksgiving dinner and sing, we gather together and come ye thankful people and all that. Last year, Henry Tiffin uh, brought a live turkey as part of the pageant. Didn't work out so well. Um, Millard Tuttle showed up late in his 67 Chevy and stopped out front of the church. And when he stops, that truck backfires. Backfire is probably not a strong enough word. It sounds like Mount St. Helens going off, or a howitzer, you know. And the turkey inside the church, he had been pretty calm up to that point. Henry had given him a lot of corn to make him full and uh, kind of dopey. But when Millard's truck backfired, he thought it was a rifle shot. And he suddenly began to reconsider the role that he was actually playing in this Thanksgiving dinner and decided he wasn't up for that level of, of sacrifice, you know. So the pageant ended in a kind of a hurry last year. So we're not having any live turkeys this year at the pageant at the Frosty Community Church. Let's see, what else? With well, the library coming up this week, a new exhibit going up at the library. Louise Mitchell will be displaying her latest work of dryer lint artwork. What she does is she takes dryer lint from different col colors and then she glues it onto a, a canvas to make a picture. And it's a, oh, it's a lot of work and a lot of lint also. So this time her project is the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And uh, it's quite lovely, although it's actually kind of difficult to tell it from her previous work, which was Washington crossing the Delaware. But anyway, you, you want to stop by the library, the Avis Tompkins Memorial Library in Frost Eve, to check out Louise Mitchell's latest work. Uh, the Zucchini Bank is open, folks, in Frosties. For those of you who may be in need and could use a few extra zucchini, you just stop by. It's anonymous, and uh, just stop by, and we can get you set up with some zucchini. Okay, the Zucchini Bank is open. Well, now it's time for the police report, my favorite part of the local paper. Uh, remember, folks, these are actual items from the local paper. Let's see, this week we had a couple of Dia accidents, uh, Dia versus Car. The score was uh, pretty much one-to-one -one there. Uh, let's see here, here's one, uh, 911, at 9.44 a.m., Police received a 9-11 hang-up call from the hardware store. None of the employees knew why the call came in and said everything was fine. I have often been in the hardware store myself and thought of phoning in an emergency because I was in the middle of some project that I had no idea what I was doing and was overwhelmed by the choices of stuff. But I never thought to call 911. That's an idea, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, we got found property, a few animal complaints. Uh, here's one, disturbance. 
At uh, 3.10 p.m., police mediated an argument between two people holding political signs at the intersection. Well, I bet there was a lot of that going on last week. It's a good thing it didn't come to physical violence, folks. Uh, let's see, here's a um, noise complaint. At 8.08 p.m., a resident on Kentucky Lane complained about noise from a nearby residence. Police could hear the noise, but it was not unreasonable for the time of evening. Police spoke with both parties about the complaint. Police could hear the noise, but it was not unreasonable for the time of evening. Helen, get in here. It's time for Dancing with a Desperate Bachelor's Chef. You know I'm in the middle of cooking. I can't come in there now. Well, you're going to miss the show. Not unreasonable for the time of evening, though. Well, let's see here. Uh, we got some, some more cis motor vehicle complaints. Let's see here. Uh, oh, this is a sad one here. Custody. At 9.46 a.m., a Hancock Road resident complained that following a breakup, her boyfriend took the dog they bought together. Folks, this is why you've got to take care of your relationships because when they fall apart, it's not the car that you're gonna care about, it's not the house, it's the dog. Who gets the dog, you know? Don't let it come to that, folks. Make peace if you can. Let's see. Uh, theft. At 5.25 p.m., a Prescott Hills apartment resident reported that a box of clothing was taken from her doorstep. Well, don't keep it on the doorstep. <laughs> Most people keep their clothing in the dresser. Plus, it's cold outside. It is getting cold out here, folks, lately. It's November, and, you know. Let's see, uh, domestic disturbance. At 10.45 p.m., two residents of Riverview Apartments on uh, Pheasant Road had an argument. They agreed to sleep in separate rooms. Well, that's good, I'm glad to hear it. Um, let's see here, manner of operation, motor vehicle, quite a few motor vehicle complaints and accidents. And then there's always a suspicious person or suspicious vehicle or two. Here's a suspicious vehicle. At 7.25 p.m., police reported a, received a report of a suspicious vehicle near the Monadnock Bible Baptist Church. Police located several dozen vehicles that were all there for the event. That's right, folks. Police, I mean, people attending a suspicious Bible study. Well, let's see here. Uh, all right, one, one more. Peace restored. We always like to hear that, don't we, folks? Peace restored. At 11.28 a.m., an officer had to mediate an argument between the drivers of two vehicles that had a near miss at the recycling center on Scott Mitchell Road. Both subjects were able to discuss it calmly. Well, ain't that nice, folks? That's what we need a lot more of these days, folks able to discuss things calmly. Well, let's see, a couple of things coming up. Uh, December 3rd, I will be in New Boston at the Community Church, New Boston, doing my guide to New England for locals and people from away. Folks say it's the funniest show I've ever done. People that aren't even related to me and don't owe me money say that. So you want to check that out, you can get tickets at the New Boston Hardware Store or um, uh, online. Uh, just, uh, let's see, uh, I'll put a link to it at some point. Anyway, it's a fundraiser for their Helping Hands Fund, so check it out. That's Saturday, December 3rd, 2016, 7 p.m. at the Community Church, New Boston. And uh, uh, you want to check out the latest New Hampshire magazine? Uh, back page is uh, another bit of my foolishness. Thanks to my friends at, at New Hampshire magazine for letting me do that. Well, folks, that's about it for me today. It's Fridays with Fred. Thank you so much. Do something nice for somebody today, and remember, you can't get there from here.